this game is the kind of game that you make fun of when you see it and then when you play it you actually can't stop playing it what's up guys my name is one easy and i put the dub in wotaku i played disc room and that game is so funny i don't mean funny like it's actually funny it's a little funny but it's just so funny to me because when i first saw this game i was like oh it's such a simple game okay whatever like this looks like a mini game in another game that's how how simple i thought of it and i'm not gonna lie to you it's actually kind of addicting it's a little bit of a problem for me in the game the whole point is to survive as long as you can in a room where there are spinning discs that are trying to kill you that's the whole game and they made it fun so bravo in these rooms it's not just about survival sometimes you have to do things like survive a specific amount of times and die actually is one of the big is a is a challenge that you have to do dying to specific different discs you unlock special powers that will let you either dodge between discs create a clone of yourself slow time down and there's a lot more powers that i haven't even unlocked yet because i haven't gone through all the rooms but essentially in this map it's kind of a grid the way to unlock doors to other grids is by completing the challenges and like i said the challenges are either hey you survive long enough or you died a specific disc sometimes there's a boss battle involved it actually gets really really deep and the disc variations keep the game very fresh there's not much really to say in the about the game because it's so simple so this video probably won't be that long but it's so good at the same time once you start getting in there and you start dodging discs you start feeling like you're in the matrix like truthfully it was actually pretty fun because there's times where i'm like yo i know i can beat this i know i can hit 20 seconds but then you die to a disc and you're like damn but then you restart the whole thing the best way i can describe this is kind of like hotline miami you know how in hotline miami where you just die to a bunch of people or whatever you're like damn let me restart the level and then you keep learning and you keep getting better and better that's the way i describe disc room it's kind of like hotline miami but instead of you killing everybody in the room it's just you trying to survive in the room with people trying to kill you if you get friends who play the game as well you guys can start competing with times it's really really interesting it's kind of like a bullet hell you're just not trying to die the story in the game is also pretty simple i didn't beat the story yet mostly because i got so sucked into playing the, the levels and expanding i've been playing all the side rooms instead of like progressing through the story because i really really want to see what all the variations of rooms they have but the story essentially is that there's a giant disc that appears in the room the the rings of saturn i believe and you go and investigate it and then you find out that there's somebody with like a bomb running around it's an interesting story i haven't finished it yet but i do plan on beating this game because it's actually really really fun personally i think this game is gas i highly recommend it this game is something that i wouldn't have experienced outside of game pass i probably wouldn't have spent my money on this game and i'm really happy that i did because this game is actually really really good i think you should try it out especially if you just want a quick indie to like play just to, to get a feel for it i think i can see myself playing this on the switch as well it's actually a really solid game so please check out this room that game is pretty heat but that's gonna be it for me guys sorry that the video is so short but it's a very simple game but a really good one at that so i hope you enjoyed it make sure you like comment if you would well, tell me if you played this room tell me if there's games that you would like to see me review and i'll catch you guys next time make sure you subscribe please please subscribe yo we're getting close to 200 we're at 178 right now i really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and i will catch you guys next time otaku out